Hey everyone, Arnaldo Waffman here with ADJ Whitefly Any One Video Manuals. So I want to tell you about an event that I just had where we ran the entire show off the Any One, including the Fog Fury Jet. Let's take a look at the Fog Fury Jet values here. So I used it in five channel mode, which basically gave me fog, red, green, blue, and amber. But I didn't punch into values quite the way most people would. I needed it to be different. What I wanted to do is I assigned this to fixture number 12, bottom right, so it was easier to access. And I wanted to have it where I pushed the button and they would activate fog at a different level with a preset color. Now the preset color that I wanted was amber. That was it. So here's what I did. First, let's name the fixture. Fog Jet 5. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The first one was fog. What I did with fog is I could assign it to a generic channel. But I don't want that. I'm actually going to assign it to a gobo channel. And I'll explain that in a second. We want the default at zero because if anything else means that the moment you hit the fixture button, then the fog goes off. Now that may be kind of cool if you wanted something impromptu, but if you accidentally push the wrong button uh, when you're choosing your fixtures, you're going to set off your fog at the wrong time. So I'd rather it be a two-click process to be able to shoot off my fog. Next, we're going to do our red, green, and blue. So we have red, and I'm going to use the color button, or the regular color channels, because I want to be able to select colors if I need it to. Okay? But the amber, I did not. I actually left amber as the generic channel. Now, here's why. Because I wanted the default to be 255. At least for this wedding, I did. I, the way the fog jet works, the fog fury jet, is that the moment the fog goes off, then the color is activated. So the LEDs aren't on until the fog goes off. So when the fog went off, then the amber LEDs would light up. Okay? So if you want it, you know, basically what I do is before each show, if, if it's for a wedding or something, it's only one or two blasts, I change the channels to generic channels or I change them in the um, light library so that way I don't have to worry about presetting the colors. Pretty easy. Now, on my gobo, I select it Two different modes 100 and 255 so that way it can have fog at a medium blast or at a seriously full-on blast and then I saved it so here's what happens I open up my any one or you know have my any one and then I click fixture 12 that activates my fog fury jet or at least it chooses it but nothing happens then I go into my gobo and if I click one it gives me a medium blast and my amber LEDs turn on if I hit gobo number two, then it gives me a full blast and the amber LEDs still turn on. If the amber is a little bit too bright, I can bring it down to 200. Maybe I want a little bit more red. So in that case, I would actually change the red to a generic channel, call it red as soon as I learn how to spell, and I'm gonna add a little bit of red on there. So when I hit that gobo channel, then boom, I get the color that I want. So again, that is how I was able to quickly use the Fog Fury Jet using the Wi-Fi Any One Profile Creator. Thank you guys so much for watching. If the videos help, please make sure to leave a comment. Um, best thing that any of us YouTube people can ask you to do is watch the ads all the way through because there's a reason they're on there and there's a reason we're making these videos. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But in all seriousness, thank you guys so much. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share the videos. Good night and God bless.